Welcome to Naive Investor. My name is Gustavo Sayani. Today is October 20th, 2017, and this is our episode number 194. Today's randomly selected company is called Compania Estadual de Energia Elétrica, and it's the distribution division. Uh, so CEEE. This is an energy company that operates mainly in the state of Rio Grande do Sul, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Um, Rio Grande do Sul is uh, not a, one of the largest states in Brazil in terms of population or, or area, but it's one of the most well-off states economically. So CEEE caters to that population. And as other companies, they, they divide uh, even listings into, in this case, distribution, and they have another one that's generation and transmission. So distribution will, would be uh, the part of the pipeline, and the electrical energy pipeline that touches uh, homes and the final consumers. So if you see here, I don't have much on the distribution company. I have more on the generation part and uh, it's quite interesting to see uh, the numbers for the generation part I have never invested in this company but today we're really talking about the distribution company so uh, here I saw a negative net equity and it, it wasn't even clear anymore what period I was talking about. I just change a, a couple of things here. So what I'm going to do is, is do this for 2016. Let's see where though. Also, I'm going to add a link here just to make it easier next time. Let's see. Yeah, that's not it. Let's see if this is it. Seems like it is. So kind of be sure to look at the right company here. Downloading the file. One thing I don't like when they say they're giving you the DFP and they add all this preliminary information before the, the actual balance sheet, so on and so forth, because, I don't know, I think I'm always being misled when, I, when it's like that. All right, so... As always, we start by looking at debt. So one easy one and very fundamental is debt to equity. And you start by looking at net equity. Okay, I think they're talking about here, if I'm not mistaken, that this number is because it's an they're not saying patrimonio liquido right they're not saying net equity because it's negative in their case so they're calling it passivo a descoberto so i gather that uh their net equity is minus one two three six now yeah, in terms of uh, considering uh, an investment in a company, this number itself, for me, ends the analysis, okay? Uh, big time. I don't know how to do special situations. Uh, maybe I'll never do special situations in my entire life. So, yeah. 
All right, so what is their liabilities, total liabilities? Total liabilities would be current liabilities, 1882 plus non-current, 4697. Uh, what part of that is debt in, per se and loans? So current 34, non-current 427. So 461 is their debt. So the ratios here will be negative. I, I'm not going to do the ratios here. Uh, even though they do matter, of course, if it's negative, but it's not a whole lot. The the net equity it's better than it's than a, a terribly negative number, no question about that. Let me just uh, write down their uh, probably a loss. Let's see. Yep, five hundred and twenty-seven, and then five hundred and fourteen for twenty fifteen. And since we're here, cash flow, so their operating cash flow was 602, and their investment cash flow minus 712. So uh, just an addition of these. 602 minus 712 minus 110. And since we're here and we can quickly get the numbers for 2015, so their operating cash flow. 193, and then the investment cash flow minus 148 so 45 there yeah 45 okay also I almost made a mistake here this is negative okay yeah this ends the analysis this company very clearly is a no in terms of investing just from a negative net equity, we just pass on that and, and leave that to people who understand bonds uh, and uh, subprime stuff. Not my case. And fortunately, there are enough companies doing well and priced uh, in such a way that we can be partners just in a more straightforward manner there. But it's, you know, I always think that and sometimes I say that uh, of course I do these videos most of them most of all for myself to learn and if you don't see the negative space if you don't see what's not to your liking you will never have a relative uh, appraisal of what is a good opportunity and uh, any given point in time because these things are, are dynamic so it's I think it's as important to look at companies like this as it is to look at companies that are you know returning consistent profits so on and so forth so thank you very much uh, we have 193 more episodes which I invite you to to watch uh, also I'll be delighted to to see you in future episodes and as always drop me a line if you have questions criticism suggestions if you spotted mistakes in the analysis especially because it happens and it happens a lot uh, so yeah I'll write you back as soon as I can have a great day bye bye